Thank you for joining me for another reading through the New Testament. We are in Romans chapter 13 today. Let every person be subject to the governing authorities. For there is no authority except from God, and those that exist have been instituted by God. Therefore, whoever resists the authorities resists what God has appointed, and those who resist will incur judgment. For rulers are not a terror to good conduct, but to bad. Would you have no fear of the one who is in authority? Then do what is good, and you will receive his approval, for he is God's servant for your good. But if you do wrong, be afraid. For he does not bear the sword in vain. For he is the servant of God, an avenger who carries out God's wrath on the wrongdoer. Therefore one must be in subjection, not only to avoid God's wrath, but also for the sake of conscience. For because of this you also pay taxes, for the authorities are ministers of God attending to this very thing. Pay to all what is owed to them, taxes to whom taxes are owed, Revenue to whom revenue is owed, respect to whom respect is owed, and honor to whom honor is owed. But owe no one, owe no man anything, except to love each other. For the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. For the commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and any other commandment are summed up in this word. You will love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no wrong to a neighbor, therefore love is the fulfilling of the law. Besides this, you know the time that the hour has come for you to wake up from sleep. For salvation is nearer to us now than when we first believed. The night is gone, the day is at hand. So then let us cast off the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. And let us walk properly as in the daytime, not in orgies and drunkenness, not in sexual immorality and sensuality, not in quarreling and jealousy, but put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to gratify its desires. Making application round two in chapter 13, Paul urges his audience to recognize that they were to be responsible to those over whom they over responsible to the governing authorities whoever they would have been struggling sometimes at in every generation with those words rulers are not a terror to good conduct but to bad presumes of course that they're good rulers and admittedly there is plenty of historical evidence to the contrary So, what is a Christian supposed to do? He tells us to recognize that we are responsible for our actions. If you do wrong, be afraid. Of course to be afraid because, as he said, you should avoid God's wrath. But then then he says, for the sake of conscience, this is why I'm exhorting you to do this. So recognize that for those of us who are Christians, the responsibility of conscience is to be law-abiding, as we would say, a law-abiding citizen. To be the kind of person to whom people would know um, they don't want to break law. I'm not sure that this prohibits protest, but it certainly prohibits law-breaking. Because we're to love each other. Verse 8. And there is nothing that that command does not touch. The way we treat policemen. The way we treat fellow teacher or teachers. The way we te- treat fellow students. And, and the list goes on. And that we have witnessed in our culture for generations. But especially in the last two years horrific violations of this in every possible way should remind us that as Christians our light has to shine bright. It just has to. Because the hour has come for you to wake from sleep. To wake 
the way God has called us to wake. Thank you for joining me, and I hope that today's reading has made your weekday strong. And join me again for another reading tomorrow. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let your love increase. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Walls of pride and prejudice shall cease when we are your instruments of peace. Where there is hatred, we will sow his love. Where there is injury, we will never judge. instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let your love increase. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Walls of pride and prejudice shall cease when we are your instruments of peace. instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let your love increase. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Walls of pride and prejudice shall cease.